So we got some more interesting news here. So I was just uh, scrolling through X and I saw some very interesting things about what happened uh, yesterday. And I know I've already made a couple of videos about this, but I also wanted to just kind of, you know, update you guys on this. And there's just something that I wanted to show you guys from the Jimmy Dore show here, where he's talking about the process of how the, uh, the person who was attempting to assassinate Donald Trump was shot. And it's very interesting. These guys are on the roof next to Trump, and they're looking directly at where that building is. And they and they missed they missed it, even though there's right. people screaming right. and yelling. And they don't go they don't go cold red. Get the president down. Right. They and that's their whole training. Their right. whole training is to be scanning for any danger. And the, and the people on the ground saw it. If you didn't. Yeah, no, that's very here's interesting. what Thomas Massey said. He said the same bureau that investigated the Las Vegas shooting and the January 6th pipe bombs is now investigating the attempted assassination of Trump. This is also the same bureau that raided Mar a Largo. I'm sure they'll get to the, the bottom FBI. Of soon. <laughs> and so here I'll here show a little bit more. New video shows the moments before shots were fired, with witnesses screaming that a man has a gun, followed by rapid gunfire breaking out with Donald Trump speaking during the rally. So I did a little bit of so there's people regular people spot this guy yep. you're telling me the secret service sharpshooters didn't spot this guy they have binoculars they have drone coverage they are trained to do this this is all they're doing these people aren't look, looking out for a sharpshooter they're looking at the president now i have heard i, I don't know if this is true but i have heard that some rumor about there being some policy that the Secret Service has that you do not take a shot until shots have been fired. I don't necessarily believe that's true because, I mean, if you pull a gun on a cop, he absolutely has the right to shoot you. So you're telling me the Secret Service has a policy where they can, or they have to wait until someone takes a shot at a president, even though they're locked down on a scope and a guy has a rifle aimed at the president. They can't take him out. If that is a policy, which I don't believe it is, that's a bullshit policy. And they right. see it, and they're screaming, and nothing happens. Watch, right, so here yeah. it is. This is seven minutes and 21 seconds before it's done. <laughs> so they're looking right at where that guy is, or, or where that guy is going to appear. They got binoculars. They're, they're aimed towards that guy. There's not one guy looking that way and one guy looking the other way. They're both looking right at where that guy is. Okay. <laughs> That's when I left office. That was the lowest. And this is 42 seconds before. They're down. They're already looking through They're locked the in. Now, they see I, him. So it seems like they must see him. They, they got to see him. Yeah. They 100%. And so, if, so at least 42 seconds before, they're looking through their scopes. It, see, it appears to everybody that they already see this guy. Now, I don't know what the protocol is, but you would think the protocol is code red, get the president off the stage. Here's what Candace Owen has to say about you it. You think so? I've got to be kidding. Let me say something right here. And yeah, you know, that's the, that's true. You, even if they weren't allowed to shoot, if you, if you see an, an active shooter who's pointing a rifle at the president, at least code red, get the president off the stage, something. That didn't happen either. Now, take this to the bank, okay? That person was allowed to scale that roof, okay? I am not some individual who's trying to assess situation and never been around the president. States. While Trump was in office, okay, I have was around him a lot, a lot. And let me tell you something. The Secret Service, there is no person that can get around the perimeter of the Secret Service where, where Donald Trump is without them being aware of it. I am not kidding when I say that my husband once almost got shocked by the Secret Service because he came down a staircase. I was speaking at the NRA, NRA, and he snaked in and came down. They didn't know who he was. And they were like, freeze, 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 freeze. Like, we will shoot you right now. So you're telling me that guy walked up and was trying to get the attention. The Secret Service saw him, and he's pointing, and he's saying, this guy's got a gun, this guy's got a gun, and they're pretending they don't know what's going on? I mean, am I crazy? Do you guys actually believe this is a failure? In intelligence?
all these secret service agents crawling around and you don't think just what that guy said said that is common sense okay they're trying to now tell us that common sense is a conspiracy that is the new thing that they're trying to tell the public common sense is a conspiracy you're telling me this guy was able to walk up sound familiar with a rifle in his hand and scale a roof and you don't think the secret service and let me tell you they get there days before let me tell you how a security apparatus and by the way, even if they didn't notice, there were people screaming at them, telling them it was going on. It took minutes, minutes before there was any action. And then the guy, of course, takes a shot, and then the rest is uh, history. Supposed to run. Days before, they get in, and they look at every possible angle in which somebody could hurt the president, okay? And I'm not even talking about once you get to the Secret Service. I'm talking about if you just have security in general. Before you speak, they will go, hey, this is the stage? Okay, let me tell you. That right there is a problem. They'll mark that as a spot. That right there is a problem. That part, we need to know who this person is. They'll knock on doors, okay? They got to figure out every possible angle that any individual could potentially get on a roof because you know what? This has happened in the past. People have been shot from roofs. People have been shot from windows. Right. There was a 0% chance that some random person with a rifle was able to scale a roof unless there was just an unbelievable... Build your intelligence. And you want to know why it's unbelievable? Because I don't have to believe it. I don't believe it. I want the names of the Secret Service agents that allowed this remarkable security failure to go down. Because I don't I don't believe this. I'm done with this. I don't believe this, not for one second. Having been around the president, having literally almost watched my husband get shot because he came down the wrong set of stairs at the NRA, screaming at him, screaming at him. And I'm literally, I jump in front of him like, don't shoot him, that's my husband. And you're telling me, they, this, they knew he was gonna speak and they weren't worried about the roofs? A roof with an angle to shoot the president? This guy says 50 yards away, he watched this. You have got. So that's Candace Owens' take. Uh, that seems like, that, that's my take. Uh, and I think it seems like that's close to what you guys are saying. Yeah, and see, you know, that's the really interesting thing is because it's been ever since it happened, it's like, wait a minute, how does this how is this allowed to happen in the first place? It's so weird, right? Now, this next thing I'm going to show you, I cannot verify, right? So, full disclaimer, I'm not saying 100% this is true, but uh, Gad Saad posted this on X, and I'm just going to pull up this uh, picture here. Apparently, this officer again. I've just seen this. I tried to look for it. I couldn't verify whether it was either true or not true. It looks like it may be true, but again, I don't know. If this is wrong, I will definitely make myself or correct myself. Um, but it does say here, title, they wouldn't let me take out the shooter. My name is Jonathan Willis. I'm the officer in the famous photo of the two snipers on the roof at the Trump rally. I came here to inform the public that I had the assassin in my sights for at least three minutes, but the head of the Secret Service refused to give order to take out the perp. 100% the top brass prevented me from killing the assassin before he took shots at, Don at President Trump. Trump. Again, full disclaimer, not sure that's true. There's no proof to suggest it is otherwise. However, it does seem like something is really off. They, you can see it. Like when you watch the shooting happen live, you can see they're already locked in on the guy. It was 42 seconds in the Jimmy Dore video, but I, I believe it was closer to three minutes. So why wouldn't he take the shot? Or at least Code Red get the president off the stage. They, they took no action. So this does seem believable to me. I just can't verify. So that's why I wanted to say a full disclaimer. But if this is true, then this is an incompetence. This is just pure evil. And Kimberly Cheadle, the director, of, the head director of the Secret Service, needs to be removed and probably put in jail after a, a tried, after she gets tried, of course. Still has to go, has to go through the judici judicial process, but it looks like there was some really high-level corruption going on here. Again, maybe I'm wrong. This could be fake. But you know what's not fake? The proof of the video where it shows the guy having the assassin, the person who attempted the assassination, he had, the police officer had that guy in his scopes. Then you hear the shots and then they immediately shoot back and kill him. So they had him. No action was taken. 
Let me know what you guys think in the video. Um, think in the comment section, rather. I know it's uh, it, it's been a crazy, you know, I don't know, what, what's it been, 28 hours or so, but it, it's more and more information is going to come out. That's why I do want to put a full disclaimer, just in case I'm wrong. But it, it makes sense to me that this would be the case and that you, know, you can see the guy, you can see the cop in this picture. And even in the video of the shooting, he, he had a lock on the guy and he didn't do anything. And apparently it's because he was told not to. It's wild. But again, full disclaimer, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out with this channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with another video.